this were almost to a man imperfect. Some of them were outlaws part of the time, lawmen part of the time, gamblers, other types of opportunities. the kind of men who stand up in, as an individual against great odds. Even though you look in vain for perfection, uh, even Sam Houston was a recovering drunk at the time he went to Texas. But even all that said, uh, some of them were not as bad as others. Some of the worst have been most glorified. For example, everyone knows about Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid, born Bill Bonnie in New York City, was supposed to have killed 21 men by the time he was 21 years old. Uh, he was glorified for it. Many emotion pictures have been made about him. In reality, he was a sneaky little murderer. Reality probably was involved in the death of nine or ten people, only two of which were not outright slaughtered. He did kill one man who was uh, a large man, a little kid was a, a slender, slight teenager, and this big man was uh, on top of him, crashing uh, him, and really couldn't find him, so he shot him. Yeah. On another occasion, uh, after Billy had been involved in a couple of gang type killings, where he was with uh, several other men and a gun battle erupted and figured to kill this accounting for about five people. And he may or may not have had any of his gun. Anyway, after these feuds had started, he was in a saloon played cards and the man sat down at the table didn't know him. In a conversation the man said if he could find that Bill Bonnie he'd kill him. But Billy, knowing that the man didn't know who he was, told him that he was impressed by him with his gun and asked him if he could see it. The guy had his gun over to him. Back in those days, they only carried five cartridges in the gun. They let the hammer sit on an empty chamber because and had a fall and hit on the hand of the hammer if there was a shell in that cartridge in that chamber it would go off several men were shot you know through the leg or up through the body and killed so they generally carried that one chamber empty Billy looked at the gun and inspected it and spun the chamber and when he spun the chamber he made sure that that empty chamber was the next one up not the one under the hammer had it back to the man and he put it in his pocket. And Billy said, You said you were going to kill Billy the Kid, but well, I'm Billy the Kid. And the man went for his gun, of course he was, he was faster than Billy, but his hammer fell out into the chamber, which gave Billy time to kill him. So I guess we could call that one self defense. But what you find is that Billy the Kid, who supposedly killed 21 men, one for each year of his life, actually killed these two men, plus two more men that he murdered while escaping from jail. And he participated in gang killings of probably five other people. But as Smarty Robin's song says, will show, he has been idolized by a lot of people. Here's Marty Robin's.